Alexander von Humboldt explained species area relationship. So this can come as a one marker question that person who explains species area relationship is Alexander von Humboldt. Now what did he say? He said that as area increases species diversity also increases but it is only to a limit why we speak about the limitation but only to a limit now let's take certain examples to understand this now just take uh, example of your own area where you live have you ever tried to understand that how many types of species live there both plants and animals now take a little wider spectrum and uh, consider say in Bangalore how many uh, types of species exist surely you would agree to me that the number of species in Bangalore is much higher when compared to number of species in your area. But when you are going to take an even more bigger spectrum of Karnataka or say India, what happens eventually? What do you have in Bangalore? You might be having some ponds, you might be having some lakes, some forest, some city areas where you have uh, domesticated animals and plants species. Now, when you are asking the same question in a larger spectrum of India, what do you have in India? You have ponds and lakes, you have rivers, you have uh, domesticated regions, you have forest. So, the words what you are going to compare in a uh, Bangalore or say Karnataka with India wouldn't change much. So, in the beginning when you are increasing the area from your just restricted your area to Bangalore, there was a peak say this is the curve what I am saying there is a peak continuous peak so as the area is increasing so is the number of species increasing but at one point the area might increase the number of species might not increase the types of species aren't increasing and this is where we say there is a limit there is a standstill what comes so according to Alexander von Humboldt there is a rectangular parabola which is formed sorry rectangular hyperbola so rectangular hyperbola is formed in a normal kind of studies but when we are taking a log of the entire thing we get a, a equation as log s is equal to log c plus z log a now s stands here for species diversity a stands here for area now uh, c stands for the y intercept and then the z stands for slope now this is very very important the slope here is a very important term what we have to see i think the other part is very clear that species increases with increase in area but to only a certain extent now just imagine if i have a slope of this sort there could be a more steeper slope or there could be another slope of this sort now what do you understand here see the maximum of this slope when you are getting is like this and here it is of this sort now in this given area the number of species is very high while in this bigger picture of the area the number of species is very low. So with the slope we can understand the species area relationship. So we can easily tell this region this is a very rich region it has rich in diversity while this particular uh, part if you see 
it is less rich in diversity the number of species are very less this is species area relationship given by alexander von humboldt 